voices. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> we have eight female feminine, I mean feminine voices. Is that feminine? Um, today, let, let me tell you about this group of women because it's important. Okay, so we've got eight people telling you all different versions of stories today. All different Come on, get up. I'm not drunk. This place is a goddamn mess. She really doesn't. She thinks she's like letting go because she's an AA and Al Anon. And she even reads this daily affirmation book called The Language of Letting Go. She reads it. She doesn't fucking let go. She carries around this. What do you think the suitcase means on the railroad tracks? What do you think the little girl on the railroad tracks mean? B-O-B-B-I-E, -B -B -I, -E, I like that name. My mom, she wanted to name me after one of her ex-boyfriends. Bob Lawrence <laughs> was his name. <laughs> I knew him as Uncle Bob. He <laughs> was a friend of the family. So actually, he was the cousin of my mother's sister's husband, Uncle Dick. <laughs> and so Uncle Bob was around a little while when I was a little kid. I used to imagine that one day I was reading a book by Isabel Allende called Eva Luna, and I found a story in it, and it, the story just jumped out of the pages, and I was very taken with it. It was a story about a man who came up to a storyteller. She was a professional storyteller, and he put some gold in her hand. And he said to her, I was traumatized in my youth, and I've lost my memory. Can you help me regain my memory? They reach out the hand for my new husband, and rubies fall out of my heart. Is there any reason why this man should not wed this woman? And for the first time ever, my wings begin to flap. They keep hitting the stone floor. Smack! 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 Why this incessant booting of wings? The vicar asks. I can't say anything. My voice is stuck in my throat. I've cut my own beak off. So it's my wedding night. And I'm at the bar. Bitch! She screams. You think you're so hot with your perfect little ass and your perfect <laughs> jumping into handstand from downward facing the <laughs> And you, she turns her attention to the teacher. After all I've done for you, you have the nerve to go and ask that little bitch to substitute your class instead of me. <laughs> then the yogi chimes in. Just take a breath, relax. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. <laughs> Energy work, Deb says, in my writing class. Anybody up for energy work? And everybody goes, yes. And I'm thinking, shit. Energy work? Fuck. What the hell is that? Anyway, I mean, does anyone really know, seriously, I mean, what energy work is? So I was coming out of yoga class the other day with my friend. And we stopped to look at some jewelry on display, and she can't figure out what she wants, and she's looking around, and she's just commenting to the girl behind the front desk, wow, everything in here is so beautiful. Over Thanksgiving, I drowned. I actually drowned. I was on our lake, and this boat, you know, like one of those wooden ones with the wooden um, seats that hurt your ass. <laughs> kind of like these chairs. And I was in that boat with my brother and my sister, who look a lot like me. It was a beautiful day. Sylvie, Sylvie, can't you hear, can't you hear me crying? I can't ever remember asking anyone for water. I'm never thirsty. <laughs> I know you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day. I mean, we're 98% water. 